In this video, I'm going to show you how to establish fiber link connection between two switches. This is the topology I am using here. I have a radial on the top and I have two access switches on the bottom. I already have a fiber link connection running between this access network tutor one access and network tutor one radial. This is the new switch I am introducing into the topology. So I'm going to demonstrate how to establish a fiber link connection between this uh, network tutor dash two access and network tutor dash one radial. So if you look at my topology here, this is the network tutor dash one access. It already have a fiber link connection to the radial here. This is the radial switch I am using here. And this is the new switch I am introducing into the system. So if you look at here, these are the thing I have. These are the fiber patch cable I have to establish the uh, link between these two switches. This is a multi-mode fiber. So same as this, this is a single mode fiber. And I am, I have optics here. This is the optics I am going to use. This is an um, SX SFP, one gig, uh, same as here. Uh, let me show you. Probably you should be able to identify based on here. So this is uh, optics. So I have four optics here. So two optics going to be here and two optics is going to be here. So this is port three. So one, two, three, four. So three and four. And I'm going to use here uh, three and four here also. This is a very short distance. For short distance, you better use multi-mode fiber and I do not use uh, this single mode fiber single mode fiber normally we use for LR a long range uh, optics running long range connection between uh, the switches so that's where you have to use so right now I'm going to use this one to establish the connection so I'm going to pull out my party sessions and I'm going to show you what are the connections I have here? So this is the access switch stack uh, I'm uh, using here. Uh, 192, 168, 1, 101. And uh, this switch right now, I am uh, using a console connection because it's a new switch. Just look at here, this is the console connection. And uh, it's a COMP5 uh, connected to COMP port 5. And this is the radial. It's 192.168.1.100. All right, so uh, let me show you what is the existing connection I have from this radial. Show ether channel summary. So I have a connection, uh, port channel 10, LSCP running between uh, these two ports, gig one and two here on this radial and on the uh, access switch side, show the channel summary, it's uh, one three and two three. And if you look at here, show CDP neighbor, you can see this is the one and two on this uh, radial and the remote switch is running one is connected to three two is connected to okay yeah one zero one is connected to one zero three one zero two is connected to two zero three this is on the access side this is on the radial side so we use ether channel because if one link goes down the connection uh, will be there. That is we are using for redundancy. I'm going to do the same thing with this new access switch also when I introduce into the topology. 
so what you have to do here is so go and prepare these ports so show run int gig 101 so you can see uh, it is a uh, channel group 10 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my notepad. I'm going to copy these configurations and then just change the uh, descriptions and other things. So I'm going to, it's already been copied, come here, paste, and then this is going to be dash two and channel group is going to be say 20 and everything else is going to be the same. And I'm going to apply this to, I'm going to go to this radial, count T, int range, gig, two zero, okay, no, one zero, One zero three two four. So I'm going to use two ports. That's what I copied here. And description is going to be same. I'm going to apply this. Copy. Remember when you copy from the notepad, you had to uh, basically go here and copy. But if you drag anything here, that is all, all automatically being copied. You come here and you paste, it's there. So you don't have to copy. What will happen is if you right click, it's going to uh, you know, paste it here in the console. So be careful with that. All right, so let me look at the ether channel now. Show ether channel summary. And you see here, port channel 20 has already been created and these ports are already on the port channel, but the port channel is down. And then I'm going to prepare the same thing on the access side. That's, I'm going to use my party here. Okay, let me bring up everything here. So let me look at in this side. Uh, show it the channel summary. I'm going to use port channel one. So port channel, you can use port channel one and port channel 10 here because these port channel numbers are locally significant. So it doesn't matter what port channel you are using um, on each side, uh, the configuration only has to match. Port channel number uh, need not to match. So I'm going to use port channel one. So let me look at show because these are same kind of switches, so I can copy the configuration. Show run int uh, gig 103, and you see here, and I'm going to copy here, and then later on changing the needed text. And this is going to be, okay, that's going to go to the same radial. So network two to one radial, and these are going to be same. Okay, I'm going to copy this one, and ch channel group is going to be, let me see, channel group one, that is fine. Copy, and I'm going to come here, and I'm going to apply these two, port three and four. So that's going to be conf t int gig one zero three. I'm going to copy this configuration. I'm just using up arrow key to get the previous command. One zero four. I'm going to copy everything here. All right, so and show ether channel 
summary, if you see here, it has been created, but it is down. If you want to know how these inter-channel configuration work, I have um, a bunch of videos on that uh, in my channel, so you can go ahead and watch those videos. Um, all right, so now is the time to connect them up and see how they are coming up. So let me actually, you know, there are some tools you can um, clean these optics because uh, these uh, patch codes, because these are very sensitive. If there are some dust in here, uh, it can cause, uh, uh, you know, signal losses. But I don't have that here, but so I'm going to just connect this up and see how that's uh, coming out. And also uh, here, you don't have to worry about the polarity uh, because you can insert these LC-LC, can these are LC-LC connectors on one way only. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to push this here and then make sure three is going to go to three here. And you see the connection is coming up. All right, I think it is up and you can see here it is coming up. Uh, show the channel summary. Now you see uh, the channel is up with just one port. And here show the channel summary. It's also up with one port. So let me connect this up. This is a second cable. To So let me show you here um, how these optics works. So in the optics, you have this uh, lever. So make sure you insert sequally. And then make sure you fold this one properly. And you see that one also coming up. Okay, they are up now. So let me, you see here, these channels are up now. Show it the channel summary, the channels are up now. Hope you liked this video. If so, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, uh, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you have any question, uh, please ask them in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks. I will see you in my next video. Bye.